Hey everyone, we have a ton of news to get to today, and I am just, oh, I'm beyond thrilled with um, something that, that happened personally, but I'm not going to talk about that right now. What I'm going to talk about is a giveaway. We are giving away two copies of Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. To enter, head down to the description. There's a laundry list of items to do, including commenting on this video, liking this video, subscribing to the channel, all that jazz, following on Twitch, subbing on Twitch, a whole bunch of crazy stuff. There's a laundry list. Go check it out. We also have two other giveaways going on. Uh, one for a Nintendo Switch, a PlayStation 5, an Xbox Series X, another of two copies of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I know, crazy. Lots of stuff. Go check it out. Let's get into the sales data. This all comes from Matt Piscatello, who works for the MPD Group. He deals with sales data in the gaming sphere when it comes to the MPD. Uh, and yeah, the MPD is sales data for essentially North America, but primarily the United States. Uh, and so now we have sales data coming in for September, which is, by the way, the month that Super Mario 3D All-Stars launched in. And uh, Nintendo Switch set a record. Like, it's in the title of the video for a reason. They set a massive sales record. But before we get into that, let's get to the rest of the data. So, consumer spending across video game hardware and content accessories reached $4.3 billion in September of 2020, which is 10% higher than a year ago. Mobile hardware and accessories were among the largest growth segments. The U.S. MPD total spend year-to-date totaled $33.7 billion, which is 21% higher. Uh, we won't look at that graph because it's not too interesting. Uh, for software, Marvel's Avengers was actually the best-selling title of September. Launch month dollar sales of Marvel's Avengers were the second highest for any superhero game in U.S. history, trailing only Marvel's Spider-Man. So yes, Marvel's Avengers, very successful here in the United States, that game. Uh, it debuted as the number seven best-selling game of 2020 year-to-date. Uh, but 3D All-Stars is not to be forgotten, folks. Here we go. Super Mario 3D All-Stars was the second best-selling game of September and the number 10 best-selling game of 2020. Super Mario 3D All-Stars generated the second highest launch month for physical dollar sales of any 2020 release, trailing only Animal Crossing New Horizons. To understand this, Nintendo data for the MPD is only tracked with physical sales. They do not have digital data in the U.S. So it's possible that Super Mario 3D All-Stars actually outpaced Marvel's Avengers because Marvel's Avengers had, obviously, digital and physical combined. We only know physical sales. And despite that, it is the second best-selling game of September and the second best-selling game in terms of just physical sales, pure physical sales, next to Animal Crossing New Horizons for the entire year. That is Huge. Uh, U.S. MPD Software Super Mario 3D All-Stars launch month physical dollar sales rank as the sixth largest. This is just physical sales. The sixth largest for a Nintendo published title in U.S. history. Super Mario 3D All-Stars made more Nintendo more money physically than every game they've ever released except for five other titles. Think about that. Think about that. Super Mario 3D All-Stars was massive. We know Animal Crossing right now is one of them. That is Wow. Just wow! You you combine digital sales in, and it might be top three. I mean, heck, it might be it might be top two. All right, U.S. MPD software Tony Hawk's Pro Skater One and Two was the fourth best-selling game in September. The release achieved the highest launch month dollar sales of any title in Tony Hawk franchise history, surpassing Tony Hawk's Underground Two, which originally launched back in October 2004. Good news for Tony Hawk Pro Skater fans there. Crusader Kings Three PC games. Shout out to our PC brethren out there. I actually plan to pick this game up soon. It was the seventh best-selling game of September, with just one month of sales. Crusader Kings 3 ranks as the best-selling release in franchise history. The title also experienced the highest launch month dollar sales of any title published by Paradox Interactive. Uh, we got the software sales here, top 20 sellers. You see Marvel's Avengers, Super Mario 3D also at the top. Uh, the asterisks there next to it is to let you know it's only physical sales. We got Madden at uh, number three, which used to be at number one. Tony Pro Skater, NBA 2K. Uh, that's right. Oh, sold NBA 2K. Uh, Modern Warfare Crusader Kings. There's Animal Crossing New Horizons still in the top 10. Star Wars Squadrons, which was a new release. Only at 40 bucks too, but in the top 10. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe rounding out that top 10. Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time at 11. Ghost of Tsushima, Ring Fit Adventure, Smash Bros. Ultimate, uh, UFC 4, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, uh, Breath of the Wild, Odyssey, Mario Party, Mortal Kombat 11. Although I believe there's a correction to the Odyssey and Mario Party rankings. I think they're actually flip-flopped, but... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that correction in a bit. Uh, U.S. Uh, MPD software year to date 2020 uh, top sellers. So this is year to date top sell sellers. Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare at the top, followed by Animal Crossing New Horizons. Again, only physical sales, so 
might be at the top and digital is included. The Last of Us Part 2, Madden NFL, Ghost of Tsushima, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Marvel's Avengers, uh, Dragon Ball Z, and will be the show. And there is Super Mario 3D All-Stars. To see Nintendo games in the top with only physical sales is very rare. And we have two in the top ten for the year. That's insane. All right. Uh, we have the uh, software sales for the 12-month period. For, so from September uh, you know, 2019 to September 2020, uh, and in here, you'll see Animal Crossing is still at the top, although uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order pops in here at Madden 20 uh, and Madden 21 both make the list. Pokemon Sword also makes the list. Remember, physical sales only and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Man, that game does not stop selling. Plus, Luigi's Mansion 3. Uh, some great inclusions there. All right. Uh, so for Nintendo Switch, these are the top 10 sellers for the month of September. Obviously, 3D also is at the top, followed by Animal Crossing and Mario Kart 8. Then Ring Fit Adventures, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, uh, Breath of the Wild, Odyssey, Mario Party, Luigi's Mansion 3. Uh, so that rounds out your top 10 for September. Uh, here's for PlayStation 4. We have Marvel's Avengers at the top, then Tony Hawk Pro Skater, then Madden, NBA, Ghost of Tsushima, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, Crash Bandicoot 4, Star Wars Squadrons, The Last of Us Part 2, and Minecraft PlayStation 4 Edition. Uh, getting into the Xbox top 10, we have Marvel's Avengers again at the top, then Madden, then Tony Hawk, NBA, Call of Duty, Star Wars Squadron, UFC 4, making an appearance there, Crash Bandicoot 4, Forza Horizon 4, and Tom Clancy's Rainbow Seas. So you've seen a few differences between those. Obviously, there's different exclusive games and all that. Uh, U US MPD hardware, uh, so the hardware sales. September 2020, video game hardware spending increased by 15% uh, versus the year average and $277 million. Growth in sales of Nintendo Switch Offset declines on other console platforms. Nintendo Switch was the best-selling console during September in both dollars and units. And we're going to get back to that in a moment because this is extremely. This is a very important data point. So U.S. MPD hardware year-to-date spending on hardware has increased by 22% when compared to a year ago. The 2.3 billion dollars for accessories spending on accessories reached a September record of 191 million, gaining 30% when compared to a year ago. Year-to-date spending has increased 26% to an all-time high of 1.6 billion. That's right. People are buying accessories this year to higher rate than ever before um gamepad and headset slash headphone spending each set new september and year-to-date u.s sales records the xbox series 2 uh elite series 2 wireless controller was the best-selling accessory of both september and year-to-date um so uh we, we have a couple uh a couple other points to get to one one let's get to the corrected data for mario party uh and an odyssey so up here, uh, he put he puts a correction here. There was an error on the top twenty bestsellers chart for September. Uh, so let's let's look at that. So yeah, Mario Party and Odyssey are actually flipped. So there you go. Uh, beyond that, um, let's 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 back up here. Let's back up here. Um, we want to uh, see a very interesting data point. This is the highlight. Switch was the best-selling console in the USA for 22 consecutive months since December of 2018. This is a new record. The previous record was the Xbox 360, which has been the best-selling console for 21 months straight from August 2011 to April 2013. And the Switch record could go even further. It will highly likely be the best-selling console in October. Not really thanks to Pikmin 3 Deluxe, but just because, you know, everyone's waiting for November. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see if the Switch can actually keep that top selling spot console in November. Obviously, $200 cheaper than everything else but the S. Supply constraints as well for the other platforms. Nintendo does have Age of Calamity next month. How big of a seller that's going to be has yet to be seen. But yeah, the Switch has a chance to add to that record. So 22, it's likely going to be 23. It might reach 24, and we'll see. If it can win the November month, can it also win December? Can it also, I mean, we start getting into, you know, February. That's when you start having, you know, Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. We saw what All-Stars did. Is that going to have a similar effect? Uh, and obviously, we have a lot of big games coming from Nintendo next year. A lot of big games with that Zelda 35th anniversary coming. So, guys, the Nintendo Switch is the best-selling console in the United States for a record amount of months. A record this is all-time sales history. Nintendo Switch is doing something that has never been done by any other platform in the history of gaming in the United States. Think about that. Nintendo is literally making history, and they're doing it in the midst of a pandemic in a year when a lot of people complain that Nintendo didn't really have that much to play. And yet, guess what? Here we go, baby. The other platforms have more to play, nerfed by next-gen coming. Nintendo is dominating. When, when I talk about how Nintendo doesn't need to release a Switch Pro next year, this is kind of what I mean. They're dominating the sales charts. They don't have to do a hardware refresh. 
but there is some logic behind a hardware refresh happening in the middle of a peak because you can get people interested in that refresh quicker than if you wait too long. If you do the, do the Wii thing and drag it out for a couple extra years, then release the upgraded platform like with the Wii U, you can end up actually hurting potential sales. Whereas if you're at the peak and you're just starting to come down from the peak, like if you figure this holiday is going to be the peak and it's going to slowly start to arch down a little bit at the beginning of next year, boom, you hit them with the new switch and then it spikes back up again. So there's actually a lot of um, sales logic to do this. They did this actually with the 3DS. The 3DS was starting to peak when they announced the new 3DS and then it peaked even higher. So Nintendo is trying to get that double peak happening two years in a row in my personal opinion. So, oh my gosh, this is exciting stuff if you're an, if you're a Nintendo fan. If you care about sales data, I love looking at sales data. Now, stay tuned uh, later today. We have a ton more videos to come because we have a lot of interesting comments coming from Phil Spencer and Microsoft uh, dealing with not only the Xbox platform, but also dealing with support for Switch and other platforms like PlayStation. Uh, other Nintendo news as well coming in. This is going to be a big day. I'm going to have a, more videos coming out today than ever. Also, be sure to head over to Twitch uh, at twitch.tv slash Nintendo Prime TV. Give a follow over there because we will be live streaming later tonight around 7.30, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. We'll be streaming for a couple hours, uh, and uh, we'll be doing a lot of talks about all this news, taking all those questions, maybe even popping into a game or two. We'll see. Uh, but I'm excited, man. We have a huge day of content ahead. Uh, so catch you guys in the next video.